thank you for watching this hashtag value investing how to uh, video it happened that uh, it's almost two years already february 2019 and my last update on bycom was done in feb 2017 thus i thought it was appropriate to do an update what i have here is the numbers that's taken from lta i have previously downloaded the report that is based on 31st October and there's another one that's updated on the 31st December so basically I'm comparing between the last quarter so the key intention of this uh, video is just to uh, bring across I think it's more of just to do an update and also bring across a point of how can I select businesses that has predictability in it. Of course, when there's predictability in the business, uh, growth can be slow. Maybe you need, to, or maybe investors will need to pay a premium for it. But nevertheless, if the stock market is close or the stock exchange is close, would I be happy holding on to it? So, uh, just doing a quick cross uh, comparisons between the two reports of October and December, you see that. Uh, yep, even though the first year the number of cars dropped, but the total number of cars increased. So that's around like a, maybe around 700 cars. But looking at the second and third and fourth, if I'm right, yep, second, third, and fourth, these numbers were 87,000, 87, 83,000, 49,000 in 31st October. If I cross it over to 31st December, so it's 91,000, 85,000, 85,000. So there's another new wave of cars coming in because they're hitting the three year mark. Because this is the Singapore car ownership landscape, so if you're watching this from another country, it could be totally different. But definitely the same concept of being able to find out facts and figures to prove, uh, to substantiate whether should I buy or sell a business. I think that's always fundamental in value investing. Um, so back to this comparison, I believe from year four onwards, it uh, the numbers came down. So year f it's twenty four k here in October, and in oh, apparently still went up. I think it's the fifth, fifth. Yep, it went down. So I, uh, all the way until I think the nine or ten year. So in October. The 9 or 10 year had 68,000 cars. Yep, it dropped. But because I understood how uh, our how uh, Vic, Vicom, I think it's Vicom or Vicom, uh, charges, meaning that uh, cars that are less, whose, which, eh, whose age is less than 10 years, they need to go for a car inspection every two years however it because due to the prolifer proliferation usage of uh, grab uber so there are all these private cars and i believe that such cars need to go through inspection once every year in singapore landscape there's uh, only a few inspection centers however vicom holds the biggest share and what i would want to take note is from 10 years onwards or 11 years onwards they have to inspect the car at once every year and this is the part where uh, in the December figures showed that for the next 3 years from age 11 to age 13 the number of cars that are in this band has uh, have risen so I see 10 to 11 there's 37 10 to 11 there's 34 so increase in October, there was uh, 28,000 cars in the range of 11 to 12. And 11 to 12 is 27,000. It, it dropped a little. Yeah. Then the 12 to 13 is 25. And it's 24. Then 13 to 14 is 5,000. It's 6,006 right now. The point of this whole video is to find good businesses to invest. And if you can substantiate it with facts and figures, I guess that will definitely increase the margin of safety that we always want in value investing. And more importantly, whenever we invest in the stock market. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.